Well, it is the age-old tale of David and Goliath, but with an Aussie twist. A Western Sydney bootmaker taking on US footwear giant Deckers over the right to use the name UGG. It's a battle coming to a head in US courts overnight. And for more, we're joined by Western Sydney bootmaker Eddie Oigam. Uh, Eddie, good morning to you. Thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Your legal appeal has now been heard. What happened exactly? Well, firstly, good morning, Carl and Ali. Um, yeah, it went very good. Um, well, my lawyer said that it went better than well. So we're just waiting for the outcome now. I'm very excited after five years of absolute turmoil and heartache and costing me so much money. Mm. Mm. Well, we're just waiting for the outcome now, what, uh, what the judges are going to decide. Eddie, what kind of uh, toll has it taken on you, this whole uh, battle? Well, a lot, Ali, a lot. Um, the last five years, I had to retrench some of my staff that have been with me for over 25 years. That hurt a lot. Um, the way the industry's going, I think I'm one of the last ones left that they haven't knocked out. Um, they made everyone sign hush clauses so they can't talk, they can't really give me but any evidence. But thanks to Michael Ticerio, we found all the evidence we need. We've already given them to the courts. Now we're just waiting for justice to prevail. Well, so. just to give the, the people at home a bit of an idea of what this case is, that um, so Deckers has trademarked the word UGG in the US and the UK, but obviously UGG boots have been around forever. Um, you sold about a dozen pairs from your .com.au website um, That's right. over into the US. So they are then suing you based over the fact you, t you sold a dozen pairs of UGGs um, for $450,000 in damages. And now this has gone through the court system over in the US. You're now, if you lose, you're looking at a, at a bill of, what, probably about $3.5 million, which I assume is probably going to wipe you out, Eddie. Well, it's not only three and a half million. Well, a, a business of 40 years is going to go. Um, also, it's not about the $3.5 million. There's plus my costs on my side of the bill, like my lawyers. So, total, we're looking at... Six million, five and a half, six million dollars. This will wipe me out. Um, but you know, I believe in justice, and I'm just doing this. What, what's right? I'm only doing what's right. I'm not, not only doing this for myself, Ali. I'm doing this for every UGG boot maker in Australia. Uh, no one could stand up to them, but with his help, of course, and it's come this far. I didn't think oh, we were going to last this long either, but we did. My man, can you also, um, and, I, and we're, we're really sorry for what you're going through, and hopefully this is going to turn out okay for you. Um, but the, oh, there is a, a, a term, it's a colloquial term, um, and Ali and I were, were, were trying to find out the, mm. the origins of this. We think it was used by surfers originally in Australia um, to term that kind of shoe as an UGG boot, um, but it wasn't a trademark. Then it was trademarked, and that's how you kind of landed um, yourself into a bit of a, a spot. Is that right? That's right. Actually, it has been registered in Australia, but they gave up on the registration because it was a generic term in Australia. Mm. The first person that actually registered was a, a, a guy called um, John Arnold in Adelaide. So when you buy uh, an UGG boot, when you, say, when you buy an UGG boot in Australia and it says UGG on the back, is that an Australian company? Is that you? No. Mm. UGG is a generic term in Australia. Anybody can use it that makes UGG boots. Right. Mm. Now, the problem is we've got a lot of imports as well. That's right. So us UGG boot makers in Australia have to compete with, you know, imports. Uh, mm. They've got UGG on them too. But make sure you look for the Australia label. Made. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that it's an Australian company that's selling it, not online. Mm. Yeah, they make it sound as, you know, Australian sheepskin, Australian... But doesn't say made in Australia or anywhere. Mm. So make sure, make sure that they are made in Australia. All right. Well, mate, we wish you so much luck with this. We'll, we'll 
check in with you again Thanks, once the Sally. court makes its final decision. But we're definitely on your side. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, that's where it gets Thanks, really, guys. really tricky because Uggs have been around forever mm -hmm. and everyone's made them. And it's this one very big company in the US who then decided to trademark that just in the US and in the UK. So that's what he's fighting. I got it. Did you? Yeah, I think so, eventually. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's, it's a tough spot, isn't it? And it's mm. these, these Australian producers. I mean, this guy's just the salt of the earth guy. Been in business for 40 years. 40 years.